get into movies. I've been excited about movies. I loved them. My whole family watched them. And during COVID, I lost my job, just like a lot of people did. But um, I just kind of felt like it was a chance for me to just take a different avenue, a new career path. And so I decided to try film school out. And um, hopefully, whenever I can graduate film school, if I can make it and find a job, then I'm going to make it. But if I can't, I guess I'll get to move somewhere else and try again. Even filmmaking is, you know, you have equipment, you have talent, everything, it's the crew. The crew makes everything happen. From, you know, art, makeup, camera, electricity, sound, That's editing. It's one thing, and then also uh, crew. I mean, if, if we're shooting in an area, where is the crew coming from? Do we have to fly a lot of crew in, or is it close to, like, one of the film meccas, if you will? Uh, so that's important. I mean, I'm less worried about the setting, like, oh, I wrote the script, so it has to be filmed here. It's more about what is logistically and financially beneficial to the film. What The business doesn't care, but I care. Right. And, and I wanted them to know that, yeah, we're not just barefooted and, you know, fun. I'm an, an independent cinematographer. Uh, I've been in the, in the film and video business for over 40 years. Um, uh, but yeah, the pandemic was, it was, there's still aftershocks because people are still getting sick. So it was, uh, it was no fun at all. I don't recommend it. Thumbs down. Shut it down, it was terrible. Uh, it was a good thing I didn't take all that money and go to Jamaica and spend it, man. It was, you put it in the bank and save it because you needed to buy groceries. No, oh, it's, it shut it down. It completely shut it down, uh, completely all together. It, um, caused production companies to start paying less for the material that they're receiving as well. Um, on the Alabama Film Office website online, you can go on there and see all of the incentives and the rebates that we actually get. But um, I reached out to Rob Wolf, um, law attorney, who um, was able to give me more information. You spent $500,000 or more on a, on a major motion picture or you can have several commercials or videos or TV series that equal $500,000. Once you get that threshold, you're qualified for all rebate. Tax breaks uh, are good. They're not great, but they're good. Uh, they start at a, a certain budget level and cap off uh, to the point where I think they're using them all up every year. And that's one of the business models that a lot of filmmakers uh, from other places it's are coming into Birmingham and Mobile and making mid to low budget projects that, that get a pretty big kickback from the state. And um, right now, almost every month they're shooting a feature film in Birmingham. Not simply because it looks like an old New York, but because it's, it looks like a, a generic American city. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's, it's lovely. Lovely place to, 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 to film. 25 cents on the dollar that you spend in Alabama, um, you get back as, as a tax rebate. Uh, 35 cents on the dollar for everybody higher in Alabama. So there's a there's a really good incentive to do um, some some good film here and hire locals and, and purchase locally. The thing that I've noticed since I've started working in the industry many years ago uh, is more work. Uh, more work leads to uh, a bigger talent pool of professionals that know how to do the job, and that's always been the downside because we're we're not we're not LA, we're not New York. So we don't have big camera rental houses, big grip rental houses. We have them a few hours away, but we don't have them here because there's not enough work to keep those people busy. But since we've gotten busier, there are a lot more crew members that, that really know what they're doing and have a lot of experience in the various departments. So if there's one... Well, they're coming around. It's not going to happen overnight, but um, uh, you build it, they will come. That's what we've done, and that's their, their, their coming. And it's, it's more and more each day, and also, too, the resources that this state has, you can't hide those. People are going to want those. Uh, we've got uh, filmmakers, we've got crew, we've got uh, all of the smoke and mirrors you want to make a movie out here and do work, and, and it's catching up.